guys and welcome back to the Saints View, the channel for Southampton content for a very exciting video. That is because Southampton have today agreed a fee of around £10 million for 20-year-old Malian winger Musa Gineppo from Standard Liège. He does look to be our first signing of the summer and Ralph Hazenis was first signing as Southampton manager. But before we get into the video guys, do go and subscribe if you haven't yet already turned notifications on so you don't miss a thing throughout the rest of the summer. Also go follow us on our social media because we've got some cool stuff coming out as you will already see if you do follow us there so obviously you don't want to miss out on that but let's get into the video now I can't lie we were planning to release this video for when Gineppo actually is confirmed by the club however according to the Daily Echo it does look like he won't be confirmed for another week because of work permit issues so we're gonna just go through the key facts, stats, figures etc that regard Gineppo and why he was a decent prospect for us and what we can sort of expect I guess before he is officially announced by the club. Now as I previously mentioned he is 20 years of age, he'll be 21 before his contract actually starts which will be on the 1st of July but still a very young player with a lot of talent. Got 11 goals and recorded 6 assists in the last season in around I think it was 38 appearances for Stanley Age meaning that, you know, it's a pretty good return for a player of his age. What's more, three of those goals came in his five Europa League appearances, so he's got experience in European competition as well. And, yes, the Belgian league isn't a very competitive league when you compare it to the Premier League. But, you know, the signs are there. You know, the foundations are there to be built upon. And I think it was always inevitable that we needed a winger. I said it in a video before the window really kicked off when we were linked with anyone, you know, I think it was a striker, a centre-back, a winger, maybe a backup right-back that we needed to be looking at and we've gotten one of those positions nailed on with the signing of Gineppo. Now yes, there's no guarantee that he'll be what we need, there's no guarantee that he'll be regular starter either, but with Ralph Hazen at all, you know, we've seen what he can do with young players and like I just said, the foundations are there to be built upon. So it does look like Ralph will give it his all to sort of make a really good player out of what we'll be getting at the start of Gineppo's time at the club. And for me, and I've said it to a lot of people, it screams Mane. You know, the whole sort of transfer, like everything that's gone around it. Obviously an African player, young, playing for a big club that's in a pretty uncompetitive league. That's nowhere near the level of the Premier League. You know, Mane came from RB Salzburg in the Austrian league, this is Standard Liège in the Belgian league, very similar level leagues. I think Mane's transfer fee was around £10 million, which is what the Gineppo fee looks to be at the moment, may rise to around 14 15 with add-ons. And of course, if we're getting another Sadio Mane, we would definitely take that, especially for the bargain price that it is. I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. You know, I do have little expectation for our signings now, only because so many have flopped over the last handful of years. But you know, this is the right move. The club have done the right thing with this. They haven't overpaid. You know, I think when Gineppa was first mentioned and we sort of spoke about him in that first rumour roundup video of the of the summer, I think the price was quoted around £19 million. So if the club have been able to sort of haggle their way down to £10 million, that's a fantastic effort. And it also means that we're not overpaying. I think £10 million seems like the right amount for a player who's scoring double figures and getting about six assists. So where will he fit into the Southampton side? Now I don't think he'll be a regular starter this season or for the start of the season that is. Obviously if he proves himself then he'll be given the chance that's inevitable. But it does sound like Ralph Hasenhoff who wants to try the 4-2-2-2 formation that was so famous under his spell at RB Leipzig. That includes a pretty narrow shape but then it can expand when the team have the ball and they're attacking meaning that sort of the second set of two, I guess, become wingers and spread out, which is where Gineppo would thrive. And of course, we've got Nathan Redmond in hot form after his campaign last year, and hopefully he can build on that and get into double digits for his goals and maybe even assist. That'd be a fantastic campaign for him if he could do that. But in terms of the other side or basically just having another winger there, we don't really have the options. War Prowse has sort of implemented himself as more of a central role, if not playing on the right. Chidapo is more of a left-sided player. He can play as a forward next to a main striker, but I think it does sound like he's mainly a winger. So where he'll be able to play, I'm not too sure, but I think it'll be a case of he's got a full pre-season, sort of impress the manager, show that he's got talent, maybe start the first couple of games on the bench, but if he's got a goal or two in the first half 
couple of games, then obviously he deserves to start. And that's another thing that I'm quite pleased about with this transfer. We've been able to do it quickly because he's a Malian player. He will be going to the African Cup of Nations this summer. But the tournament finishes before our pre-season is due to start, meaning that he should come back and have a full pre-season with his new teammates, with his new manager, with his new club and hit the ground running hopefully. There's not much more I can say about Musa Janepa. There aren't any scout videos as you may have seen on YouTube, which is a shame, but it does sound like the club are making the right moves in this window, making early moves, which I'm very happy about. So it can only get better, I guess. So hopefully we don't put too much expectation on the shoulders of Gineppo and he turns out to be another flop. But let's just see what happens. You know, it's £10 million. Pounds. It's not the most we're going to spend for a player. Hopefully this summer, I think we will spend more than £10 million on another player individually. So let's see what happens. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Let us know in the comment section below your thoughts on the Gineppo signing. Yes, it's not been confirmed yet, but it's inevitable. If Sky are reporting it, then it usually does happen. And we will post a reaction video when the club officially announce the signing, but that may be in a week or two. Go and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Follow us on our socials, and we will see you in the next video.